Graffiti is a very controversial topic surrounding the media and the people of today. Graffiti is any type of public marking, images or lettering, that may appear in the form of simple written words or elaborate paintings which have been scratched, scrawled or painted on any piece of property. The number of young people getting into trouble due to graffiti has increased over the last few years. Many people see graffiti as the starting point for heavier crime. I first got involved with graffiti when I was about 13, 14 years old. Um, the reason I got involved is because I was seeing it around everywhere and I just found it a good way to creatively express yourself. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's a good, product, productive thing to do. The laws on public property are very strict and anyone caught graffitiing can be arrested or prosecuted under the Criminal Damage Act 1971. Graffitiists can be prosecuted by the police, by local authority officers or community support officers and face fines up to £5,000 for the damage caused. It's now also illegal to sell spray paint to anyone under the age of 16 years. New laws are trying to get councils to build places for young teenagers to go to work on their talent rather than getting into trouble for it. Yeah, you get uh, examples of um, some scribbling. They, uh, the children, uh, they don't generally write anything much, but it's general scribbling or um, on the desks when they get bored. Graffiti can be seen as a positive thing, a form of art or expression. Many members of the public hire out graffiti artists to spray walls for bedrooms, for live events, or even the front covers of shop shutters. It depends what kind of graffiti it is, because if it's just someone writing their name, then that's not really an art form, whereas if it's someone expressing themselves, then that is art, really. <laughs> it's definitely an art form, in my opinion, because there's so much to it. It's not just the tags, it's not just the scribble and the wall that you see. There's a lot more behind it. People actually take time to generate their tags, create their own styles, and everyone has their individual style within graffiti world. I see it as vandalism, I suppose, number one, and then maybe an art form. I feel that it's vandalism, usually, because the graffiti that you see every day is usually just abusive words or names on walls, public walls. Um, in, the, in other cases, such as art, there are a few like masterpieces that you do see people have spent hours and hours on. Generally, I'm not against graffiti. I think, you know, if it's, you know, obviously people have a reason to do it. It's like a freedom of expression or something like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it can be a good thing. There are many different sections in graffiti when it's seen as an art. Photorealism, marker pen art, stencil art, or traditional graffiti are just some of the examples. Yeah, there should definitely be more free walls in London because I feel that if there were more free walls, uh, young people wouldn't find it as necessary to be doing graffiti illegally and by um, promoting it in a legal way, it would definitely influence younger people to get involved in something artistic and productive. A lot of young people that are doing graffiti um, probably just do it out on the streets and can get in trouble for it and really there's not much point of getting in trouble getting caught with a spray can by the police and getting a caution for something like that because it should be something that um, is recognised as an art form rather than uh, an illegal activity. Yes, yes absolutely but not on my garden wall. That could potentially be a good idea that you know you get time slots but then I don't know how much graffiti artists will go for it because part of it is kind of you know using public space that's not yours you're not meant to be doing it there. Clearly there are many different views on graffiti and it's clear to see that it can be considered art and expression when done in a controlled legal environment and when it is truly a piece of artwork and not just a tag name on a bus shelter as then quite rightfully it's considered vandalism.